10 days ago. Nathan Gervin, on the other hand, has had a pretty good 2022, winning for the first time on the development tour and registering a nine data against Adrian Lewis. Commentary for us comes from the ever youthful Alan Warren a little and the even more youthful Stuart Pike. Well, ever so kind, Ned, ever so kind. Hiding the truth, sadly. But these two of the young guns who have lit up the world of darts, especially this young man, Josh Rock, who many believe is destined to win many, many titles. And in fact, we've already, both of them, won six games to reach this stage. Uh, Gert Neches in the semi final uh, for Nathan Gerben. A young man from Forfa, north of the border. Well, in his semi-final, a superb win over Callan Rids. And just have a look at that. Also beating a, a former World Youth Champion along the way. You see there in the last 32 in Bradley Brooks. But uh, I know this event can launch a career, as we've seen down the years. Yes, and it seems to get bigger every year, doesn't it, in terms of quality... These two have got extreme quality. First leg, it's Josh Trust to throw me. first. Game on. Nine darters this year. Josh Rock, as you say, already won a Pro Tour event. But Nathan Gervin is a very, very good player. Both players hey, earned the right. 96 in Wigan. And these are the last two. 120. Oh, good confident start from young Nathan Gervin. Well, Josh Rock has already qualified incredibly for the World Championship through the Pro Tour Order of Merit. 123. But a win here for Nathan Gervin will make sure he books his spot at the Ali Pali. If he doesn't, yeah, there'll be three places on offer for the qualifiers, the PDPA qualifiers in Barnsley tomorrow. 52 players will be battling it out Easy. for arguably the biggest prize of the year. Yes, and four former PGL World Champions in that 52. On him. Three or four players that played here this weekend. Nice will be jaunting off tonight, Stuart. Barnsley bound. 65. First to six, 10,000 for the winner, 5,000 for the runner-up, both already guaranteed places in the Grand Slam next year for reaching the final. Oh, 134. Just to reiterate, German has to win to get to the Ali Pali. Great set-up shot there from Josh Rock. With himself tops on throw. 45. Josh Uruguay, 40. For the opening leg. On throw. Yeah, it's on the first leg, Josh Rock. It's down the years. The first. Game. Michael Smith, Max Hopp, Corey Cabby, Keegan Brown, twice Dimitri van der Berg, Luke Humphreys, Bradley Brooks, Ted Everts. And in the very first couple of them, Six. Michael van Gerwen was beaten in both the finals by Aaron Monk and James Hubbard. I know Monk is still playing a bit, but. 140. Yeah. Not seen or heard too much of James Hubbard recently. Oh, some incredible names there, Stuart. Oh, in the professional circuit now, so it's a big stepping stone for any player from a development tour to the World Youth Championships. Not looking for a max. Challenging the Gervin throw very early in this match. Well, the next big dance oh, star, that's a tag that's been attached to Josh Rock. Just got to the Grand Slam, lost to Van Gerwen in a thriller in the last 16, oh, despite his brilliant four. mind data. He a lot of the first round to Cameron Menzies. Learning all the time. 38, Josh Uruguay, 76. Just lost his way a little bit, Nathan, in the last couple of visits. Seventy-two. And he will return, Gervin on 175. The young man from Scotland, a product of the Alan Souter Darts Academy. In our growth, Souter, his mentor, I'm sure he'll be watching, yeah, the Angus Darts Academy. Great player, Souter. 
top guy as well. Yeah, on the second leg, Josh Rock. There's nothing he can do. The leg is Josh to throw first. Oh, Josh Rock goes 2 0 in front. Yes, yeah, wonderful start from Josh Rock. Great to see friends and family here supporting both these players. I'm sure there's plenty at home as well. 93. They'll be as nervous as both these two young players on stage. Aaron Monk has been playing in the in the Modus Live League. 95. Actually, big young Nathan Gervin in that tournament. Monk had the potential, didn't 100. he? I suppose you could say for, the same for James Hubbard. Didn't quite crack on. Michael Smith won it in 2013. 58. Corey Cadby sadly no longer playing on the tour. Luke Humphreys, who's now in the world top five, so. It's a breeding ground for the stars of the future. The start of the progression. Everything else is there in place if you're good enough. 78. There's all the friends and family. Ella. Nathan's girlfriend, though, right at the front. Grandparents. Jock and Sandra. One hundred and forty. Great visit from Nathan there, 40. but maybe too late in this leg with Rock on tops. Yeah, it's on the third leg, Josh Rock. Yeah, just used the darts the well, didn't he? First. Game. He was always going to be a big favourite simply because of the experience he's had. You know, winning on the Pro Tour already this year and two big TV events recently. And experience oh, will count for a lot. And the quality is providing, certainly in the latter part of the year. When we talk about progression, the first four or five oh, months, he didn't do anything. No, I mean, I think the concern is, if there is going to be a concern, that there is too much weight put on his shoulders to oh, succeed straight away. Bar. And there's no doubt he is a hugely talented young man. And he will win big tournaments, and who knows, he, oh, he will win a world championship. Seven. That's what the experts are... A saying, but it would be a little unfair to to burden him Fair with great not. expectations. But you know, to, to be fair to him, he's the type of guy who, who just takes it on the chin. He'll get on with it. I think he actually enjoys that weight of expectation, the no, pressure. But it'll take time. Yes, he certainly believes in his own ability. He loves the limelight. I can assure you of that. And Nathan looking to fill it in. 120. He's disappointed with the last one, but he's left himself a decent finish at 120. This is the big one. Not to be. Another one of those will leave double. A great setup shot from Josh Rock. This is the quality he's been showing over the last six, eight months. What a chance here for Gervin. First start to the double in this final. 81. Josh well, set himself 36. and couldn't believe where it actually ended up there because he looked like he was just setting himself at the right angle. Will he get another shot? No score. Nathan, you require you 39. It can happen. Well, it's a lifeline here for Nathan Gervin. Really should have been 4 0 in a race to six. Double 16. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Nathan Gervin. Just held it together the there. Josh, to throw first. Okay. Josh Rock not only eyeing the title, sure will be eyeing the biggest average, the highest average in the World Youth Final. Dimitri van den Berg in his two wins over Josh Payne and Martin Schindler, averaging 101 and 100 respectively. Rock over 102 as it stands. Yes, and that's good to see as well, Stuart, when you've just missed three darts at a double. And then... You start with a max, or maybe two. Oh, wow, this is incredible. Easy. He hit that magical nine data against Van Gerwen in a thriller at the Grand Slam of Dance. One on to nine data in the final of the World Youth Championship. Yeah. It's on. Oh. Oh. Great effort. Great effort. It. Yeah, it was. Ooh. But the adrenaline, it's just the, the way he plays as well. 
Here's himself, double ten. Come on, Nathan. Oh, oh, unlucky with the last one. 25. Joshua Reguire, 20. 106 and a half. This for 4 1. Game shot the fifth leg. Joshua. Took leg is Nathan throw first. Outstanding, really. Yeah. What else can you say, Stuart? Well, the kid's a superstar. I mean, we said it at the Grand Slam, we'll say it again now. One hundred. I have no doubt that Nathan Gervin will make his mark on the on the pro tour over the, the coming years, but he will have to go to Q School. One hundred and forty. Josh Rock has got the the ability and the time to make a huge One. name for himself. Look at that. 107. And with those missed darts of the double. 97. Good recovery with the second one and the third. That's He's trying to G himself up. The dart that was. Took his time. 100. Found the angle. Yeah, just 164. Ill time flyer for Nathan Gervin. Still a superb visit. Averaging over 107 in this final now, Josh Rock. Oh, brilliant from the young Scott. Seven. Oh, well, that was unlucky. That really was Josh unlucky. Yeah, he fancied that, didn't he? It was a good angle for him as well. Yeah, on the sick leg, Josh Rock. To playing, it's Josh to throw. Well, Josh first. Rock, in no time at all, takes a sip of water, composes himself, and gets ready to Game. throw for the title with 107.35 average. He's not going to let it go, is he? All 125. I feel so comfortable. Up on that big stage to yeah. it so early in his career, yeah. and uh, it was at the Grand Slam as well. 60. Don't forget, he was only just beaten by Van Gerwen in a in a cracking game. The atmosphere in that game was electric, but it it, it looks like he belongs as well. 100. He feels he belongs, but but when you watch him, he has that swagger? 98. No arrogant, not an arrogant swagger, but a. The swagger that he belongs in the big time. Self-belief, confidence, you name it, it's there. He's looking for another maximum. 140. 108.75. Yeah. He's going to smash the record, you would think. 92. Dimitri Vandenberg, 101 against Josh Payne. Another. Can he win it in style? No, well, unlucky. He'll look at Travel 13. To the 17, maybe. 82. I mean, you've got to feel sorry for, for young Nathan Gervin. His time will come down the years, I'm absolutely certain. But Josh Rock. 140. He's been an absolute Josh star. 54. Here we go. For the crown. And the title. 44. Nathan Gervin won 111. Look to the heavens. Just lost a bit of composure at the moment there. Yeah, his heart was racing, wasn't it? Needed the treble. Can't do it now, so Josh Rock will 79. return. Josh Rock 10. Game and there it and the is. And the Josh Rock is crowned the world we youth champion. Will. With a record average of 104, not a lot that Nathan, Nathan Gurman could do about that. But what a player Josh Rock is. He takes £10,000 away with him. But it's the crown. It's to be called the world champion. And it's the World Youth Championship. Who knows down the line. It'll be the world championship himself. There are many believers that this man is destined to win the big one. We shall see. Josh Rock is the World Youth Champion. Lots of things.
lots of new experiences, but it's, it's still new. This is still a bit of a whirlwind for you, isn't it? See, I'm just enjoying it. You know, I've had a fantastic year. And I'm not. <laughs> I think anybody will bite my hand off the year I've had. Got a tough game tonight against Nathan. Nathan's a fantastic player, so we're looking forward to the night. Nathan, a massive moment in your darting career. How big is this for you? Probably the biggest game of my life so far, without a doubt. Uh, there's so many opportunities that comes with this. The Ali Pali, if I win, I've got the Grand Slam next year. So, yeah, massive opportunity. Does this feel different coming into your first ever World Youth Championship final? Yeah, it feels different, you know. I'm confident, playing well all year, so, as I say, I can't complain, but this is a wee bit different. Of course, it is. It says final end of it. you just got to be confident in your own game. You've got to believe that when opportunities come like this, to, to take them with both hands and prepare rightly for it. Or what would it mean to be a world champion, even at the youth level? It's, it was a big thing, certainly, for some of the previous winners. Oh, that'd be phenomenal, you know. But it's not easy. I'll try my hardest. Nathan's going to put up a good fight. I'll have to put up a better fight just to beat him, you know, but that'll be good. You and Nathan have had a, a few ding-dongs already on the youth circuit this year, met in a couple of finals. He's a very dangerous opponent. Yeah, <laughs> luckily I have my doubles when I need to, so hopefully the luck with the doubles come tonight. Yeah, he's been very dangerous all year in that youth tour. It was obviously this is my first year, it was my first year doing the development tour as well, and I just took a wee ease, so it'll be different tonight, but we'll put up a good fight. I know the game's there, um, and again, it's all down to the confidence of bringing it out when you need it and doing the right things at the right time. And Yeah, it's been a, a good year for myself so far, uh, being in a few of the pro tours for the Challenge Tour, uh, winning my first development tour, the nine darters, of course, and obviously being here, yeah, it's been a good year. Uh, that's what I mean a big lot, you know, because obviously you know, he's called world champion. Regardless of his youth or not, and if you call the world champion, Phil's, that's it's a nice thing. Well, it wasn't so long ago that Luke Humphreys stepped up in this very competition on this very stage and took home the lot. This is where reputations can be forged. High time we got the players on then. Two highly talented youngsters introduced uh, onto the stage by a reliable old timer, John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's time now for the Winmore World Youth Championship, brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation and coming to you live from Butlins, Minehead! And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a delight to meet two incredibly talented young men. Firstly, would you please welcome, from Scotland, the winner of a development tour, Nathan Gerber! Ladies and gentlemen from Northern Ireland, the winner of five development tours and a PDC title winner, it's time to meet Rocky Joss Josh Rock has lit up the world of darts.